so nice to see so many of you here from 2014. And for those of you that are going to be with us in 2016 on the Strive Challenge, lovely to see all your smiling faces. I'm looking forward to the adventure with you again. Essie asked me to touch on why. Why strive for big change? Why are we part of the, the core team on Bill and Ted's big adventure? Sorry, Sam and Noah's Strive Challenge. <laughs> Joking aside, I think it's really important, really easy to see why we do it. When we listen to Ruth, when we listen to the story of School 21, it's really easy to see why you'd want to be involved in raising money for such fantastic projects. For me, the Strive Challenge was in 2014 and is now, for 2016, a potent, a volatile, and an addictive cocktail of highs and lows, of doubts and fears, elation, excitement, of laughter and tears. I'm beginning to sound a bit like Carl. <laughs> a mixture of physical, mental, and emotional discomfort and battle mixed with the feeling of participation, of, of execution, of the training, mixed with the physical, mental, and emotional comfort and elation of that achievement, of the relief of getting there, the fundraising, and the key ingredient to this cocktail, the team spirit of the Strive family. As a mother with a business and two children, three if you count my dear husband, my initial reaction to Strive was one of absolute hilarity. You've got to be joking. How could I leave my kids and my business for a whole month? I don't think I'd had two weekends to myself in 14 years. Surely the sky will fall in if I abandon my post. And it was one of fear, and surprisingly, at the sh in the shape of the Matterhorn, and the thought of a thousand kilometers on a road bike of which I had no experience. Now when I fly into Geneva, I can't believe I got there on a bicycle. I can't believe I was hanging off the Matterhorn by my fingernails whilst my Italian guide rolled a joint and whilst Richard Branson buzzed around the summit rescuing Sam. <laughs> but then who else was going to have a story back in the playground? And so what felt impossible became possible. I and my family had to employ a growth, growth mindset. We removed obstacles, tackled the fears, and we made it happen. My children, your children, our children are the future of the UK. And if we want them to be brave enough to stri strive in life and to believe that they can do it, we need to lead by example. Now it's time that we head for Strive 2016. And now it's time to deal with those voices in my head, the ones that say you don't have enough time to train. You're not good enough to cycle 100 miles in 15 days straight. Are there sharks and riptides in the Messina Straits? If any of you have read The Chimp Paradox, that's my chimp talking. I need to box him up, give him a banana, whilst I crack on striving for big change. Thank you very much.